Hi, my name is Nadia and I have been a member of Moms Arise and then Women's Arise and then finally I've become a member at Brexit Alliance Church. And we are celebrating Mother's Day and it's a beautiful time to reflect and to think about the amazing women in our lives who born us physically or maybe not, maybe they've raised us and they have been the motherly figures in our lives and we are so thankful and grateful for them. Mother's Day does not mean the same for everyone, however. Mother's Day is very different in various households. And I'm not just talking about cultural perspectives on mothering and motherhood, but on different experiences. For many of us as women, we tend to see our identity tied to our ability to have children. And some of our bodies just don't work the same. Some of our bodies just won't let that happen. And so Mother's Day can be very difficult for some women who strongly desire to be mothers through childbirth. Mother's Day can be a very difficult time for women who have faced loss through miscarriage, loss through abortion even, loss of life, loss of grown children. I mean, even bearing your adult child as a mother, it just, it seems wrong, it's not natural. As a melanated woman, I also need to recognize our mothers in our community who have lost sons, daughters to gun violence, to police brutality, to not understanding the value of a melanated life. Mother's Day means something different for people who've lost mothers and motherly figures. Mother's Day can be a time of great mourning as we sit and remember and cherish the memories of these beautiful women and their souls that have given to us and blessed us with their presence, their wisdom, their unconditional love. Mother's Day can also be quite challenging for those who don't know their mothers, those who've been adopted, who've been orphaned, who've been raised as wards of different governmental organizations, those who may have fallen into the loving arms of an adoptive mother, but still may yearn to know and understand a birth mother. Mother's Day means so many different things to so many different women. So as we, if we are celebrating today, take stock of all the beauty that is here to celebrate, let us recognize that that beauty is not alone in, its, in this moment of celebration. That beauty is also coupled with, at times, pain. And when we recognize that pain, when we take that moment, then we can truly be a community. We can truly stand up for and stand with those of us who find it really hard to celebrate today. When we acknowledge the reality of this pain, then we can step into that space and provide that unconditional love for someone else who feels so far from it right now. Isn't that what we're called to do? To show forth God's love in this earth right here and right now. To be his hands and feet right here and right now. So let us acknowledge the reality of this day with all the festivity, Let's see all the sites here today and let's connect meaningfully, authentically, truly connect with everyone around us, recognizing that Mother's Day is not the same for everyone. For those of us who are celebrating, I do wish you a happy Mother's Day with fullness of thought and fullness of perspective. And for those of us who find Mother's Day challenging to celebrate, I invite you to look at the beauty that is motherhood and let's find ways to reframe and restructure our own perspectives on motherhood. Because the examples of mothers that we do see in society around us, and even right here at Rexdale Alliance Church, we can just bask 
and rest in that beauty and allow ourselves to be enveloped by our father and mother because he said he would be everything we need we can bask in his love and bask in his glory and allow that to heal the broken places allow that to come and touch the wounded parts that just never quite seem to settle so that we can live a life of celebration every day thank you